Hi. It's been a tough few days for many of us, and uh, I just wanted to have a conversation about what's going on with the election, etc. Um, I listened to we I listened to Harris's speech and was moved to tears for 11 minutes. Um, but what I really took out of all of this is that there still is hope, um, and that's one thing. I mean, it was one thing when we were trying to influence the election or share our opinions to share what we felt and who should win and why they should win. But um, now it's over, it's done, it's finished, and we need to move on. But for me, I'm gonna be grieving for a little while. I'm gonna be grieving for a little while, turning off social media, backing away from it, but what was really encouraging to me in this whole election was, I mean, democracy did prevail, um, not, the, not the outcome that we wanted, but it did in fact prevail. Um, and what also was encouraging to me was the number of young voters that came out, first time voters that came out, families that came out. And this wasn't just about a female vote, um, as we've talked about lots and lots of times, in order to have equality, we need both sides to want it. And we still have time, we have time to make that happen. But I was just really encouraged, for instance, some of the upsides were, I had sent my 14-year-old granddaughter a video of Alicia Keys giving her speech about you know, it, it has taken 70 years to get to where we are now. Um, but anyway, my little Addie listened to it and was inspired. And that's what I think is the message to all of this, that there's hope. And what I would like to see now is that we stop this hate and yelling and name calling and start looking at how the country can be rebuilt. I mean, we're Canadians, so you think, why are we invested so much? Well, we're neighbors. We're uh, best friends. So, um, but if we start looking at that and looking at it from a point of view of hope, I think that there's great opportunity. So I just wanted to share today because we are grieving, but um, it's not all bad news, right, babe? It's not all, it's not all bad news. And just to encourage all of you to look at things a little bit brighter and not continue on because there are people on the other side of the fence. I, we have really good um, Republican friends that we've been able to talk civilly about this and that are really encouraged to make this everything come together. So I think that's a really good thing. So I just wanted to give hope to our kids and grandkids. Right, sweetie? Right, thank you very much. Um, I'm taking a week off at least, at least a week off from social media and the news. And I think it would be good for all of us to take a look at doing that and just spending some time with family and other things, growing gardens here in Valley. So, thank you.